that's the title is uh, explore explore uh, animate object with the balloon plastic the actuate uh, we augment the balloon to make it uh, move to achieve very complex dynamics uh, so i think it's worth to uh, share this project with with you so here uh, when we consider about robotics uh, Traditionally, this is a hard robotics that we can see in the left side. This is the Gundam. This is quite popular, uh, famous in Japan. And we know that this is kind of like a toy. Uh, everything is like this. It's a rickety and it can move like, like transformer in movies. That is a, a quite a strong one. But recently, we also, uh, the research topic of the soft robotics uh, something like the Big Hero 6, this is the Disney movie. And uh, we can see something that uh, uh, we need some very soft robotics that is uh, uh, quite safe and uh, quite uh, use some soft materials that is uh, very uh, friendly to the user that we can. Uh, this is uh, how soft robotics works. Actually, so we can see this is the start point of the software actuator. This is, uh, we can say this, this is a uh, software actuator developed by Harvard University. This is, uh, they used the different uh, actuator. I, I think they used the four actuator here. Uh, so th this is like the four layers of the, uh, of this kind of, uh, like a worm, this is a robot. So, but, It is it's not easy to to make this kind of software accurate. We we see that uh, we need a three D printer. We also need to do the racing to make the motor. Then we put everything to the motor. So uh, we need to require some professional equipment and the materials to make this. And uh, also, this is very time consuming to make such. A, one software actuate. So you see, we need to glue it together. We need to even wait for four hours. Then we can get a, a bending actuate like this. This is uh, what happens for the normal one. So basically, my uh, this research is belong to the topics in the human computer interaction. Uh, it's called the shape changing interface. So chip change interface recently is a hot topic in HCI. So in that sense, we can use different input and output. So in this case, we don't have the output like uh, just a pixel on the uh, uh, computer. We maybe we can get some physics output like something like this. This is a pin display, so we can do feel, really feel that, that things, and even from the uh, virtual world, we can feel it. So also there is uh, papers that they used uh, uh, some airs to make th this kind of uh, 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 bending actuate to make it move. And also they uh, use something like a balloon to make it, make it even can it in very big size. Also, our previous work, so we also designed the 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 clothes that can change it by itself. That it, we have a hole here, so that you can close the hole. Uh, so we can close or open the hole automatically. It depends on the temperature, the whether you feel hot or not. So basically, we we get the inspired from this idea. This is called a sticker actuator. This is actuator can attach to some simple objects like this. This is a crane, origami crane, and when we put it on it, so the crane can fly. So this is a quite simple idea. We use the this kind of air bike. Then we put the uh, the air, then it can move. So, but in this case, they just get, get a very simple dynamics. 
Uh, also, it is a lot easy to uh, make these things. The, actually, they use the, some uh, to they modify the three D printer to make this. So we want to make something complex, uh, get, get complex dynamics, and also that is very easy to fabricate. So our proposal is like this. This is quite a simple way. We use the uh, very long balloon. This is a twist balloon. Also, we use the uh, normally plastic film like this. Then we design it together. So the price of this is quite cheap. It's, uh, it's just on around the, uh, 0, 0. Uh, 0. 0.2 do US dollars. So compared to the other special ones, they need some sp special materials and equipment. Ours is very, uh, just, just uh, use some normal materials around the eyes so we can make it. Also, we use the sewing machines. Uh, especially in Japan, that is so much it's very normal for every family. Uh, almost the, the, the mother will, will use the sewing machine to uh, make everything for, for their child. So, so this is the sewing machine here. So the, the principle is like this. We put the uh, balloon inside the plastic, the bag of the plastic. Then we uh, put the air inside, then they can bending like this. This, this. this is a video we can see it here. So uh, it can be a bending actuator. And to fabricate, it is also uh, quite uh, not difficult. You can see we use uh, two layers of the film. Then uh, we first design the, the shape of the actuator. After that, we can cut the ship. And yeah, we first to uh, use sewing machine to collect, to along the, the sketch, the line, to fix this two film. Then we cut it. After that, we insert the balloon inside the, the plastic. Then everything down. When you put the air into it, it can bend in. It's very quick and very easy to make this. So as I introduced before, we only need six steps. We, we need one paper, you draw the model shape on the paper. This is the first step. Then you, you just uh, design any shape by, by a mark pen. It can be a triangle or any colors that you want to design. Then you use the sewing machine to sew them together and the cut it. Finally, you insert the balloon inside. So, uh, and then you tie it with some bonding, uh, bonding, bonding band. So it's done. Actually, we also invite the element school students to make this because we want to very, verify it's actually not easy to build, uh, to make one. So we just ask the child, this is around 10 years old, I think. So the, uh, we found that they can even make it by themselves. And they also, they have different ideas to make something quite interesting, this is things. So we can introduce uh, some basic principle, why it happens, why it works. So the normal thing is like this, uh, this actually this is the, the paper we published uh, last week, uh, last uh, month. This is in uh, attribute of the uh, robotics. Uh, we, we used the machine to detect that uh, it can really uh, bending with this kind of design. Here we use the, just the thinner wheels. So we didn't, uh, uh, right now we don't have uh, clearly know what it happens. We just know a very basic symbols. Uh, for example, 
when we know this is uh, this is about uh, the plastic uh, in this side when we for the air inside we we can see that here will become the shape is like this uh, before the they didn't inflate inflation so it's like two nines right after the inflation there will be a circular this is the imperfect case so we can see that so the the new lens is become to just the zero point uh, six uh, six four. So 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 the lens will be just uh, around half of the orange lens. So it happens that uh, this side will be become short, while this side keeps the same. So it will be bending. So this is the just the best principle why it work. In the future, we will do more simulation workers to verify this. This is right now what we know about this. So after that, we designed a different design of this. We changed the uh, the different shape of the of of the uh, each waves we call it. So finally, we get something like this. We want to know what happens with the different uh, parameters, the design parameters, also the bending bending wise. So we want to what exactly uh, how much they can bend in. So we can find something like this. This is uh, we use the polymer polymer machines. We can see something interesting like this. The the blue one here uh, can bend in quite a lot. Of course, the also the pink one here. Uh, well, right now we don't know the principles, so we just make a different design. We want to use it for uh, uh, different applications. So uh, we first then we do a user study to confirm the fabrication appearance of this kind of actuator. Uh, so we ask the participant to to make one. So we want to know it's easy or it is funny or interesting to do this. So we invited ten graduate students, three males, seven females. It's around uh, 20, 23 is a graduate student. So when the worker is like this, they, we, they use a zoom machine to uh, actually do uh, fabricate this one. So this is all they them did to the, the fabricate. So we also uh, do the questionnaire for verify the difficulty and the safety and the fun for the fabrication procedure. We do it twice before and after. So uh, we want to know what happens. Uh, uh, be after they uh, experience these kind of processes. So here is the result. Uh, basically, we uh, we used the well conscious sent run tester to compare what the difference be before and after our experiment. We found something interesting here is that uh, most people think that, uh, that they even can reproduce the, the uh, our actuate even without this structure, so so they can do it by themselves. Uh, so it's quite easy to do this. And the most people after you uh, pure this, they found that this is a quite interesting and a very fun to do this. Uh, of course, they want to recommend this actuator to their family or friends. This is what we get from our simple user study. Also, we did it to use for, um, make different applications. It's uh, almost uh, something, uh, the the static the toys, we want to make it move. Like a like, uh, duck, uh, this is duck is uh, a normal one, uh, but we just uh, put uh, one actuator here like this. Uh, I think th this can be uh, some uh, useful for ma maybe make it really swim like this. When we put the air, it can really swim. So we can make the, this kind of toy or, or object can really move. Also, we want to achieve some complex dynamics, uh, complex movement like this. This is a walking caterpillar. So we use the two actor here. So we can see that they, they, they can something like a walk, walk like the real worms. We, we can see from different sides. So uh, from the side view, you can see this is what happens when we uh, put the air, they can, they can work like this.
Also for, for the oligamic queen, we, we just use one, uh, one accurate that, that can fly, something like that. Finally, most of co complex one, we use the three actual here. We want to simulate the, some like a tree under the wind. So wind come, it will swing. So we can use it it's for some uh, more three dimension movement. So uh, conclusion. Uh, this worker we proposed a new uh, shape change interface with the balloon plus the accurate. This kind of accurate is low cost and easy to fabricate and very efficient. So our purpose, our target is to make soft robotics for anyone. So anyone can use this kind of technology, even uh, young child, even uh, uh, without any background, they can use it. So finally, what, what we want do is that we want to make it for some human augmentations, also more complex dynamics. This is a work uh, from Sign Robotics. Uh, this is called Omni Skin. They use it for the little pony. Uh, they can make it work. Also, they also use it for, for the clothes. You can see that they, they put it on the, uh, like the wearable device. Make, if the, the wear have the wrong what's that, or wrong posture, they can adjust it. But also we can see that everything here is very complex. They use, even use the four actuate, four bending actuator for one foot. So we think that if you use our proposal, everything will become very simple and it can work very good for the future applications. And uh, that's all, thank you very much. Uh, if you, yes, that's all.